making this show is not about me, and I, I appreciate you having me. It's really about you and uh, Emma and all these great actors and actresses and filmmakers. But uh, I was told we have like an extra minute, and um, I'm really proud of something. Uh, I was wondering if I could share it with you. I just got a, a review, and um, <laughs> has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Slopinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> See if you can guess which former president just posted that on Tuesday. Anyone? No? Well, thank you, President Trump. Um, thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still... Isn't it past your jail time? It's focused on the important stuff for sure. Before we give out the Delving into the intricate interplay of identity and authenticity, one cannot overlook Jimmy Kimmel's intriguing response to Donald Trump's truth post, a reaction laden with implications regarding self-expression, liberty, and societal norms. Kimmel's derision towards Trump's post, coupled with the resounding applause from Hollywood spectators, serves as a poignant reflection of the prevailing progressive bias entrenched within the entertainment sphere. It becomes evident that Kimmel's actions epitomize the overarching trend of influential progressives utilizing their platforms to disparage conservative figures like Trump while championing left-leaning political agendas. The thunderous applause reverberating through the auditorium symbolizes the chasm, separating the cultural inclinations of Hollywood's elite from the traditional values upheld by a significant portion of the American populace. This episode underscores the pivotal role of entertainment media in molding public perceptions, perpetuating ideological discord, and catalyzing the politicization of popular culture.